my girlfriend's dad be like, what are you guys, stupid? Doing yes. it right now? I'd be like, well, yes, first off, we are stupid. But <laughs> second off, I sent an email like, at 535. What are you doing sucks. the rest of the morning? Because uh, you got here at 1 today. Turns out a kid at school in Arizona be selling that. Your what? phone selling number? Yeah. number? Yeah, I think... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Wide Open podcast. It is my true honor to tell you once again that this podcast has been sponsored by SeatGeek. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports festivals, and more. And SeatGeek puts all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. And if you're lucky and you're not a Minnesota sports fan, your team might actually still be in the playoffs. So... If that's the case for you or you're just looking for tickets for anything, you guys should be using SeatGeek. And you know that we came through for you guys. Use our code wide open for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code wide open. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Thanks, SeatGeek. Hey, Ben, can you do me a favor? What? Pick my left hand or my right hand. You're going to decide how the rest of my day is going to go. Ooh. We're, we're wrong. Uh, right, right hand. Let's go. As the beer hand. <laughs> oh. The other one had a Celsius in. <laughs> He's going to get right to work if he had the yeah. Celsius. Beer it is. Happy Friday, boys. Yeah, happy Friday. Cheers, Ryan. Yeah, cheers, cheers Benny. Some of us are trying to be healthy. Hey, you know what? I actually worked out this morning. I did too. Before you guys were even awake. Probably, yeah. Because Laundry wakes my bitch ass up at like 6 a.m. <laughs> I was at the gym at like 6.45 this morning. Here? And Ryan's wondering. No. I thought about going at that time. I woke really? up and I couldn't fall back asleep. It was like 5 and, uh, and then I just went and took a dump and went like back that. to bed. Yeah, I just need to take a dump. That was it. I uh, tip my hat to you guys being able to function that early in the morning and then want to function that early in the morning. Granted, you're being woken up, but still, I would be like, at all costs, I'm going back to bed. There is something beautiful about the morning, though. Yeah, you sound like, like my dad now. So, not Your dad wakes up at like really early hours. Like four. So. My dad's up at 4 a.m. That's still nighttime. That's psychopath yeah, hours. Nighttime. Right there. I'm like, what are you doing at 4 a.m.? And he's like, Bean, there's so much to live. There's so much life before you're even awake. And I'm like, Dad, there's so much life hours after you're asleep. I'm like, yeah, because he goes to bed. Both those are true. Yeah, he goes to bed at like 7 38. Just never sleep. And then, yeah, he gets up at 4. But I was like, there's just so much more to do after 8 p.m., in my opinion. I'd say I get up pretty early consistently on my own doing. Like, I normally get up. Seven. I mean, like on merch shop or yesterday because we had to edit. I was up at six. Oof. CJ is full blown an early riser. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily want to. I just can't sleep anymore, so I get up. But uh, there is something to be said about like like your dad getting up super super early, and then he has to take a nap like later in the day. Like it really doesn't end up getting you that far ahead because if you have to take a nap and you're doing that during like normal operation operating hours, I don't know if you're really helping yourself. Are you? I mean, I you're, would, you're missing out then. I would say no, because I also hate taking naps. I always wake up oh, more tired same. than I do going yeah. to sleep. Dude, you ever see those things on Instagram? They're always like, you want to change your life? Get up early, start working hard, reading all this. Like they want you getting up at 5 a.m. for, you know, all these crazy things. And it's like, realistically, I don't know if you're going to be more productive getting up that early because now you're all tired throughout the day. So you don't have enough energy to get your shit done. I found this uh, thing on, I think it was Facebook, actually, because I'm a big Facebook guy. And it was like how really uh, popular people like Ben Franklin, Kurt Vonnegut, uh, popular Pablo people. Picasso, or popular, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Honor de Balsac. Apparently, he's a real guy. But how <laughs> they sleep, what their schedule, sleep, creative work, daily job, food and leisure, exercise, and other. And a lot of them are at like crazy hours, like naps in the middle of the day, hmm. uh, you know, weird hours it really doesn't matter though i mean you think about it when you're sleeping as long as you're still as long as you're not oversleeping if you think about it because like you know you can basically you could sleep during the day and be productive at night and i think the biggest thing is is that like not being tired during the day like if there's one if there's one thing that i absolutely love you guys know like i sleep a lot but i'll (laughs) stay up late there's one thing i love it's not going through the day yawning yeah we have days where you have to like get up oh yeah we all got to be here at eight and we're gonna not get home till midnight that's the day we're gonna be yawning but most days like not yawning i remember like you know again i i've always stayed up late then i'm getting up for like just for high school at like seven in the morning and you're exhausted then uh i'd find myself like dozing off like on the way home from school or something and then like that's scary now like 
I never, no. I never doze off. While I driving. think there is a misconception with you that you sleep a lot. You do not sleep a lot. If anything, you probably sleep less. You just sleep at really whack hours. Yeah. Like but I, and I never am like trying to make that argument, but it, no, it's kind of true. But that's like I'd the narrative that, that yeah. people probably think when w they see you sleeping in a video at like two o'clock in the afternoon, they're like, man, Mike's just a snoozer. But you were up till 8 a.m. that morning. But working. don't you think you'd be better off just going to bed and then not being tired and you'd be more productive? Kind of like what yeah. I was saying. Yeah, like, I think I think uh, I would be a little more productive if I can get off this. You'd sleep have schedule. more energy, and then you'd feel I, better. I don't know if I'd have necessarily more energy. Like it's interesting. Like if I, as long as once I'm up, like once I'm up, dude, the energy is almost the same. Mm -hmm. It's rare that I like I could get 10 hours or I could get four hours, and it's pretty rare that I'm like, dude, ah. Oh. I hope we're done with this soon so I can, like, I mean, really? uh, once I'm up, I'm up, it's so weird. Like, yeah, whether I'm running on no hours or 10 hours, it's, like, almost the same. I think the only issue is when you are s sleeping and we're waiting on you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most of the time, if you're, like, staying up late and you're you're doing your work, it's kind of just, like, on your own time. But then when we're trying to film and we're just, wh where's Mike? Oh, he's sleeping. And yeah. it's pretty nice because now you just stay sleep here. <laughs> so we're like, oh, someone go and wake, wake him up. When I was growing up, like pretty much everyone in my family has been like an early riser. And I mean, they still are, especially my dad. But like kind of just seeing that I was never about that early life. And I maybe it's like the seeing the Instagram uh, pictures of like, oh, you want to be successful. You need to wake up early. Take cold showers. Take cold showers. Do all this shit. And if you're not, you're you're lazy. You'll never amount to anything. And uh I guess in a way I was like, well, shit, I'm not an early riser. Does that mean maybe I don't have it in me to like have the grind? And then, um, and then I started dating Greta and her dad is super successful. And, and I remember he would say, oh yeah, no, you don't have to wake up early to be successful. And I was like, damn, that feels so good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be clear, I, I, I respect people that can get up early as long as you're not like I do just dogging it through to be the day. very clear. Like I do. Can, yeah, that's awesome. But I always I do. Like I always do get a chuckle because the, like sometimes you're up when when I see CJ up super early, it's it's like half and half. Weather what are you not. doing, though? Because you're never here early. Like, what are you oh, doing all morning? So well, what's the point of getting up early? Well, like, no, I have that's a what I'm saying. I, I was emailing people. Let's it's because half the time he doesn't choose. I he's sent just, an email like, at 535. Yeah, he's I couldn't just stuck waking up. What are you doing the rest of the morning? Uh, cause you got here at one today. Yeah. So like I, that so was what's thing. the point of waking up early? No. So like, I didn't necessarily wake up early today. I was, I managed to fall back asleep. That was the point, but I'll go to jam. I get or... up early. What he doesn't tell us is he goes back, <laughs> back to, to sleep. sleep. No, I said today, <laughs> yeah. but like typically, no, I can't sleep. Yeah. So I'll just get up, but I'll, I'll either go to the gym or I'll just go get coffee and I'll just like, you know, get, get ready, which I can agree. Cause then you're like, you feel like you got a little bit of a step up on people. You can prepare for what you got what you're gonna do that day i do like that but i am awful like now eight nine o'clock tonight i'm gonna be ready for bed Shit. which sucks because it's friday night and i'm it's eight to nine o'clock that's, that's that why early, i tried yeah. going back to bed i was like i don't want to be all tired and miss out on some stuff tonight and yeah it's, it's kind of tough because around here it's like yeah the friday night might be like going to the roadhouse and hanging out with you guys not that i don't love hanging out with you guys but it's like well geez i could he wake up no, i kidding. could wake up not hung over or not tired the next day and be more productive but mm -hmm. it's just you know i feel like you don't regret the things you say yes to living like grandpa ron yeah that's there right. we go that's right he's never tired how the hell yeah my problem is, is I, I go to bed and as soon as I'm in bed, phone on mm. face, scrolling, I'll hit YouTube, watch a bunch of YouTube videos, scroll Instagram, what, do whatever, right? And then next thing I know, it's like midnight and I, I try and always go to bed by midnight. But then usually my phone keeps dinging or there's things going, right? So the other day I go, you know what? I'm going to be like CJ here and put my phone on airplane mode. Ooh, airplane. You still do that, right? You know, yeah, why, I've done but that. why airplane? Because then because it's like then it's not nothing connected. gets through. Yeah, it's not connected. connected. To, like, I get that. Supposedly, do not disturb is that way. This is going to sound yeah, ridiculous, but, get, but supposedly when it's on airplane mode, there's no... I don't exactly Transmitting know. radio waves? Yeah, basically. I don't so, fully understand like that. it, but yeah, being that I have it sitting next to my nightstand, which some people would even say is not good for you, I just put it on that. So that way there's no cellular whatever i feel Makes sense. I, yeah. on a on a side note on that i always get a little bit like i don't do anything about it but i get a little 
superstitious about when I put my phone Same. between my legs. Next usually, nuts. like when I'm driving, but yeah. just in general, you put it like basically in in under your nuts, and it's like it probably if they emit whatever they say they emit, probably not good. It's yeah. going straight to your nuts. Yeah. Yeah, your, nuts. It's like it's like a South Park episode where they put their nuts in a microwave, microwave. to get bigger Start nuts, lugging them around <clears throat> in a wheelbarrow. But anyway, so I go, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put my phone on airplane mode. Oh yeah. So I get nothing dinging. It's not keeping me up, and it's not uh, emitting radio waves. Look that up, so it's, we're not idiots. Our Jamie isn't here. I, I think it's something along those lines. So I do that right, and Greta sees me do it and goes. You know nothing gets through on airplane mode, right? And I go, yeah, that's yeah. the point, Greta. <laughs> so she goes, well, what if somebody needs to get a hold of you? I go, nobody is trying to get a hold of me at 12 a.m., Greta. I think it's going to be all right. And does she use Do Not Disturb? Because calls don't go through then either. Yeah. Yeah, but if you call three times, it does, I oh, think. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I didn't know makes, that either. That makes sense, like a little emergency action. Yeah, so I go, no, nah. <laughs> no, nah, it's not going to be a problem, right? I fall asleep. And I wake up to Greta going, Ben, Ben, Ken's calling me. I go, what? <laughs> what the hell could be going on? Let me take a wild guess. It wasn't that important. <laughs> and and I answer. And I go, or Greta answers and goes, Ken? And Ken goes, is Ben there? <laughs> this is at night? Yes. What time? Like 1, 1 a.m. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I, I like wake up in a panic. And I'm like, oh, my God. What What's going on, Ken? He goes, Should we raise the prices? <laughs> is that what he, he goes, said? You need to call Ryan right now. Me? And it hangs up, right? What? And I go, what the hell? So I turn my phone off of airplane mode. Sure enough, Ryan is panicking in the group chat going, Ben, do I have health insurance? I think I'm having oh, an appendicitis attack oh. and I need to go into the ER, but I'm not going unless my health insurance has gone through. Yeah, right. You were going to die? Well... I, I was hoping I wasn't going to die was kind of the thing. But you were willing to risk it to save a couple bucks? Well, it wasn't wow, a couple you, bucks. A it was of, like I mean, 20 grand. That's how much it would have cost. Yeah, you got to get like an MRI. Holy shit. Yeah, I had MRIs, no idea it cost that much. MRIs alone are like six grand. Jeez. Okay, yeah. It was like that. And but then you would have something else. Potentially surgery. Could have racked up like a, a pretty big yeah. bill. But <laughs> Yeah, okay. So <laughs> makes sense, I guess. So I... I I'm answering you, and I'm like, no, Ryan, you did not have to have this I shirt. felt bad, but I was kind of upset in the moment. Oh, I no, like, I don't blame oh. you. I don't blame you one bit. And um, anyway, I, I deal with all that. We'll get you into that in a second, Ryan. actually, because I, I have a couple questions on that. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, I end up, like, turning it back on off <laughs> airplane mode. I go, well, can't be shit. anymore. <laughs> and I roll over. I go. Damn, you were right, actually. <laughs> she goes, I knew it. I knew it. Dude, I don't think I've... In the last year, I can't, I can't think of any time mm -hmm. being woken up by a phone call in panic. Like I a was true like, of course, the one, one time. Yeah. yeah. So, so what ended up happening with that? Well, we had just come off the RV trip where my diet was a little bit unusual. And then I went to Florida and I ate a lot of seafood. I ate 69 pounds of crab. And I don't know. I had like a really bad stomach ache. And it was like up here. And then eventually it moved down to like my side and was just like right in my side, sharp pain. I couldn't even stand up. And I'm like waddling around like <laughs> this because I because I can't even stand up. Like it was bad. Yeah, concerning <laughs> for, for sure. One, so much crab he was constipated. One yeah. whole day I couldn't even stand. For a whole day? I couldn't stand. Wait, you didn't? We were locked up. No, yeah. No, but we went where I got stuff at CVS, hopefully take care of it, all that. Nothing. Go through that whole night. Hardly sleep because I feel like shit. Go through the second day, can't stand up, and then it was that night. And then you start looking up, like, what is lower right abdomen pain? And it's like, appendicitis is going to blow up in 36 hours. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I'm in 32. You're yeah. pretty much dead already. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty common thing, too, appendicitis. Well, it's more common than right you think. Before that, one. Right yeah. before that, Justin our, too, our buddy. No, but right before that, our buddy Brandt had appendicitis. And he like had one two days yeah, before. He was in, yeah. No, but he was in the hospital the same day that Ryan was yeah. like, I think I got to go. And I'm like, what the fuck is going, going on, on right now? I texted him. I was like, should I? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, how, how'd you make that decision to not? You were like, fuck it. I'm going to save the money and, and possibly die. Well, no. Spend it when he's dead. It's <laughs> one of those things. I feel like there's there's so many scenarios in life where you almost go in and then don't. And then it ends up being fine. It was kind of one of those. I took a gamble. Yeah, because I'm a gambling man, and I just was like, "All right, 
Because Alondra was like, you're fine. You're just, you just have like cramps or your, your stomach hurts. And I was like, I don't know. It hurts pretty bad. And it, it does turn out. I was just being a pussy in my stomach. Hurt. What'd period. you do? Did you just rip a dump? No, I tried. I couldn't. I still like, even that next day, I just put a heating pad on it and it helped. Oh, okay. It was good. Really? Yeah. That's smart. Eventually. So what do you think it was? I think it was just, I think I have a thing uh, with butter. Like I, yeah. butter makes my stomach hurt. I think I had too much butter. Oh, with the crab. With the crab. Yeah, that would make sense. A lot of butter. It is interesting, like, the older you get, the more types of food, like, <laughs> don't up, settle with you. Just upset you. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys noticed that? Yeah. You can't eat ice cream. I just refuse I can't to eat ice believe cream. it. Oh, that's I sad. I can't eat salmon. Really? Like, so Certain sad. Things, oh, that's yeah. too, it it sucks honestly, salmon's two of my supposed favorite to be foods. healthy for you, and I, I love the taste of it, but yeah. I can't. jammed up or what? Yeah. Bad. No, it, I can't eat. A brick uh, of salmon isn't too good on your stomach. You, it, salmon's supposed to be healthy supposed for be. you. I love it. Um, and then like, there's there's many things, and like a couple places around here, I can't eat a single thing from their whole restaurant. And Probably the butter. I don't know what it is. It's probably the uh, jams me up. The frying in Greece, Greece. that they haven't yeah I would switched say like, out in the last fourteen years. Wait, you guys remember when they the were going to run cars on frying pan Greece? You remember that face? Yeah. Yeah. Not to just totally hard cut away from shitting, but you remember that? Yeah. And then the cars would smell like French fries. And then I was like, oh, was that actually a thing? That is sucked. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I remember there was a couple cars in Fargo and they were all wrapped. Gas like, stations go uh, out of business and restaurants just start booming. You need a lot of uh Yeah, ice. I don't think they'd be able to keep up. No way. Oh, that'd be yucky. Uh also to go back on the cell phone thing, cell phones emit radio frequency radiation. But the CDC says should po- see people stop using cell phones? And they say, at this time, we do not have the science to link health problems to cell phone use. Yeah, until yeah, no one's 30 gonna... years down the road and everyone's got testicular cancer. They literally Even say, the girls, you know, more research is needed. More time and research is needed. I There's no that... way you're going to be able to step away from cell phones. Well, that seems to be like the least of the worries, I guess, with the way that the world is going in technology. But people... Even say that about uh, Teslas because Teslas are batteries and it's kind of like emitting the same, same kind of thing. Um, my my parents are kind of on that uh, thing about not carrying it in your pocket or whatever. And oh, I, really? I've had quite a few issues with my nuts, as we've talked about on this podcast over oh, yeah. the last couple of years. And every single time, I'm like, "Fuck!" They were right. They were right. <laughs> yeah, and they and every time. It happens too. They're like, "Have you been carrying it in your in your pocket?" I'm Where like, else are you gonna carry yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> get a little purse for it. You could get one of those. Then like, gets a supreme satchel. <laughs> no, like whatever. one of those uh, like clips. Oh, oh yeah. man, clip it in on your belt. I think they say the same issues with like uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, earpieces too. Yeah. I'm sure it's I, uh, the same with like AirPods and shit. I used too. to have a Bluetooth uh, oh, thing for on. my Xbox for Xbox Live to talk to my friends, and I was so paranoid about it. Every time I had it on, I like almost was, it like bugged me. So I never ended that up using is, it. I never like, I mean, thought about the Bluetooth thing. Cause I had the same thing for my PlayStation. Never have once had that thought. Bluetooth really went away. AirPods. Well, Bluetooth didn't go away. Well, Blue, Dude, that, no that one is, uses it anymore. Everyone used to use Bluetooth in the early 2000s. I, mean, I, I think that is a false statement. When do, do you see someone with a Bluetooth no, on their ear? they're using AirPods. Yeah, exactly. Well, oh, you're, but that you're is like, a, Bluetooth you're, no, is a you're technology. Referring, Bluetooth yeah, is I'm technology. talking to the Bluetooth. Yeah, you're talking about, uh, you're calling the thing yeah, a like, Bluetooth. Yo, clip on when your, somebody's got a Bluetooth what? earpiece yeah. in, they mean fucking business. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. the, the yeah. Bluetooth prank with Ed Bassmaster? He'd be like talking to say some shit, and then they'd be like, Huh? What? They start talking to him. Like, oh, oh, what? I'm on my Bluetooth. I love that. That's a classic. But yeah, everyone used to like. You were a real business guy. You had your Bluetooth. You'd be walking around. That was Hello? that was like, that was the AirPods before AirPods. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry, I got AirPods in. That is something to think about with AirPods though, because just think you got these two things. I see, right next to your. I brain, never right thought that either. Right to right me, it's just like they're just headphones that. Have it's best if you don't them. think about it, because yeah. honestly, I don't. I mean, yeah, you could avoid it. But you'd have to like there's, really there's something try. else working like, against yeah. you at all times that'll probably take you up first. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Soon yeah, they're exactly. gonna start saying like eating all the fast food that I eat is bad for me, Dude. or like all the <laughs> what pop. if they said Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew, it, yeah, Mountain Dew is bad for me. Who I knows? Don't. In thirty years, that might come out and they might say Mountain Dew is bad for you or beer. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, though. I doubt it. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I don't think so. I think it's best to have a couple of a day. Yeah, <laughs> with a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of have a thing back to the electric cars. If you guys were going to buy an electric car, what brand would you buy? Ken's Tesla. Tesla, for sure, for I'd sure. say. Tesla. Tesla. So when you think about electric cars, 
I never think of the cool ones as one that's made by a big, big brand. Like the Ford EVs, not cool. The Chevy EVs, not cool. You don't Rivians, think the Hummer's cool? The, the Hummer's cool. Okay, GMC actually, I think, is probably the only cool like big brand yeah. electric vehicle. Like the Rivians don't have a cool factor. They have a lot going for them, but they don't have a cool factor. So you don't factor. like Rivians? I think they're kind of cool. I, don't, I wouldn't say I don't like them, but I just don't think they're cool. So my question is, is it seems to me that it's not really catching on when you make a Chevy Cruze EV. No. So why don't those big companies just do like they always do and like start another company that, and it's not like a Ford EV. Oh, that's like what why Vol- don't they, Volvo did that. Oh, did they? Yeah, they have Polestar, which is yeah. like not big, but it's also, they're freaking cool. That's what I'm I mean. I'm sorry. Still What's their name? Polestar? That's the worst car name <laughs> brand I've ever yeah, heard so in my entire me, life. I would rather buy an EV from Volkswagen than Polestar. <clears throat> Are you saying Polestar? I think you got P-O-L-E-S-T-A-R. Polestar. Polestar. As in Polestar. Like someone a who's a star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Volvo's EV Polestar. <laughs> wow. I never thought of it as a funny name until you like It's going to be the worst car name I've ever over. heard in my entire life. Have you guys been looking for the best deal on tickets to an event? The NBA Finals are heating up. Baseball season just started, and soon summer concerts will be everywhere, so it is a great time to get out and see the show you've been waiting for. It is my true honor to tell you that today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is a number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, festivals, sports, and more. And the NHL playoffs are firing up, and I have been wanting to go to a wild game. I think they're still in it. Minnesota sports, so you know, you never really know. But if they continue the playoff run, I will be using SeatGeek to track down a ticket and go to the game. And the best part about SeatGeek is they put all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale from one to ten. Look for the green dots, green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your ticket ahead of the event with swaps. So you know we came through for you guys. Use our code wide open for twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase. Purchase with promo code wide open. Make sure you click in the link in the description to download the app. Thanks, SeatGeek. That, my friends, is the sound of another sale on Shopify and the moment another business dream becomes a reality. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Shopify covers every sales channel from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform, and it even lets you sell across social media marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth, Shopify gives you complete control of your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design or code because, trust me, you don't want to do that. That. We use Shopify for our website. I'm so thankful that we switched. It's made checking out for you guys easier. It's made it easier to organize the website. You can do most things like add and remove products right from your phone, which is super nice when there's a problem and you're on the go, you can just fix it right from your phone. So now it's your guys' turn to get serious and try selling on Shopify today. Sign up for a $1 per month trial at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash wide wide open i've been uh really enjoying seeing the hummer ev uh content lately because they're like finally getting to people well i i heard that they just had like a massive recall oh really and they had to like stop production maybe there's just a few people but like they i saw one guy doing a poll and he's like i'm not joking i did three polls and it it ate almost half my battery because he went like full like sport mode, well, full I mean, pull. Moving what eight thousand? That's what truck. I'm saying. You can see the whole truck squatting, and like you can just tell it is. It's huge and it's heavy and it's moving. But like, can you imagine eating like your entire battery on like a roller session, yeah. just doing and, like, like three poles? Some poles. I think they could just make some of these electric cars, electric vehicles look cooler. Like I think that the Cybertruck looks cool because it's so different, and I think the Hummer looks really cool. But as far as the other ones. I think they're nice, and I see the, you know, reason why people like them, but I don't think they necessarily look look that cool, Mm -hmm. especially for how much they cost. So you might as well make it look cool. Like Exactly. The the Tesla Model S, I I think it's more so has to do probably with aerodynamics, but... Probably, yeah, because they don't need grills or whatever in the front. And they're trying to just make them as efficient as possible. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not really on the the EV thing. I don't like the region. I get car sick. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't. I think that's a incredible thing. It's cool. I can. Yeah, it I makes could, sense why they have it. Yeah. I just so every time you let off the gas, it just goes. Mm, it's like you're like on the it, brakes. Yeah, so you can't coast. So it makes them just like a kind of a jerky ride. It is yeah. pretty wild. You basically drive like Ken's car with one pedal. Yeah, one they foot. took away the clutch, and everyone was like, "Oh!" And then now they just took away brakes too. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, it's so weird. You almost don't need brakes. That's one thing that I'll tell people that haven't driven a Tesla. is like, you don't need brakes. I don't yeah. think Ken said he's ever touched his. Which makes sense why they put shitty brakes on Teslas. Do they? That's what I I mean, I've I know seen. we reviewed the yeah, Chilling with Chad guy that launched it into a wall. <laughs> she but. is so Dude, ride, yeah, riding in a Tesla with the regen is like riding with CJ in the Sequoia. <laughs> <laughs> or the Sprinter van, dude. Yeah, so apparently Anything. I didn't do a good job driving the Sprinter van for really? your birthday, Ben. This is what I'm hearing. You know, I, 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 you guys I, can tell me. I won't be offended. I will never complain about anyone driving us because I don't want to lose a driver. A driver. 100%. Oh. So I have nothing to say. See, I was hoping that you guys would complain, nope, so I nope. will never have to drive it nope. again. Nope, <laughs> nope. If you were hoping someone would complain, you'd think you'd maybe drive a little. I, I was more so saying I didn't know I was driving that bad until yesterday night when I was being informed about it, and I go, hmm. <laughs> informed. Well, maybe I won't have to drive ever again because they will be like anyone but him. Dude, no, you that, weren't that bad. Well, it's just <laughs> tough when you're being compared to Ken. Ken is the way that Ken caresses he's, that steering wheel. He's meant to be behind. Dude, that wheel, he is that meant van. to drive in a suit bro. with a little hat on. Yeah, it, I, I mean, it's, no one could compare. Uh -uh. Also, the speedometer's off, so I didn't know that, or I did know that, but I forgot about it. So I was cruising at sixty, which was like seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> like we were Mobbing. ripping. I thought it felt like we were how? going fast, but how I was the, just trying to drive it. I don't understand how the speedometer gets that far off. The mm. tires are are bigger. I know, but I'm saying like Ken was like realistically, it's twelve miles an hour off at sixty. That is That's a lot. A lot. Normally, it's like four, five, six, maybe, but twelve. <laughs> Eats me off, dude. So, yeah, I mean, even the SEMA truck only like eight miles. Yeah, off. that's what I mean. Yeah, those tires are huge. That's yeah. A, yeah, real big difference. You guys follow uh, like what's going on with the football draft at all or anything? Negative. A little Ghost bit. Rider. I saw there's some guy. He's like a real stud. He's got a bunch of chicks around him. Oh, oh yeah. They were supposed to go yeah. first round and didn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was supposed to go like early first round and just straight up did not get looking like picked. a young Hugh Hefner over there. Except one of those was it must have been his mom. But I, I, I'm assuming they're mostly his sisters, but it just looks weird. Was he kissing like, any of them? All uh, of them oh, on the list. Kind of. Was he? No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't. Uh, but yeah, three hot sisters plus his girlfriend. But then there was a whole scandal. Oh, no. <laughs> he had his hot sisters yeah, sitting there with him? Yeah, why would you do that? Dude? Dude, why they're sitting on the couch that? and it's like him, girlfriend, three good looking sisters. Wow. So Barstool, of course, did a whole write up and all that. But the dad. When he, they like were hugging or something like that. Maybe this was a different guy because that guy got drafted. Kissed him on the lips. No. Oh. The dad goes to hug the girlfriend, hugs the girlfriend, and then gives her two pats on the butt. Wait, oh, I, on, what the on on television? I heard something about this. That was like two years that was ago. An oh, that was two years I, ago. I don't know, but I, I remember seeing like a clip of a dad being at the, I think they were at a game, but yeah. Right? No, this the is, dad this was, was like this was last night. night. Yeah, yeah, right. But I've just heard Dude, that happening before. That's Dude. tough. Do you got to have like a father son conversation or son father conversation? Like, listen, dad, next time I'm on ESPN, you can't be slapping yeah, me. It's shit. not going <laughs> to happen yeah. again after that uproar. <laughs> That's it's almost one of those things that you're just like seriously, just at least don't do it on live. You just guys like, ever come see, on. <laughs> look, guys Dad, ever if you're gonna slap my girlfriend's ass, just don't do it on live TV. <laughs> I'm not sure what sport it was, but the guy scores a touchdown and then it like goes up to the people in the box and is like everyone's hugging, high fiving, and like the dad like kind of like moved his hand over and like grazed I the girl's ass. It was like completely mm -hmm. out of the way. That. And it was all caught on camera. I was like, yeah, God damn, that's, that's awesome. See, I thought that's, that's what we were talking about, Ryan. But Ready? Oh! <laughs> like, you threw that in there, dude. <laughs> this little, that was just so that was an accident. That was dude. an accident, for sure. I... She had a dumper, too, which yeah, really it was an, it. Like, it was it like wasn't. half an accident, but it was too firm... Yeah, I don't know. It's it a double. So unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was just thinking he was out on the field because his son just got drafted. And when you're playing football, you slap each other on the ass, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. So maybe he, like, had some flashbacks <laughs> to his old days. In the write up, it goes, that is no accident whatsoever. Not once, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> and the one would have been weird. I feel like the two is like the. Good job. It was just the fact that he like he didn't come from Weird, up top, like tried to get a little waste. He came from down under. Yeah, he did yeah. kind of go underneath it. <laughs> There's no way that shit wasn't an accident, but yeah, it is weird. That's a very unfortunate event. 
So because that's going to overshadow him getting drafted. It's like, come on, so Dan. That, that's <laughs> what the whole article's so about. Now, now yeah, is, yeah. everyone forgot. It. Now I'm known as the dude. I'm I'm the new guy. Now everyone knows me as the dude with the dad who slaps my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> dude, I think. <laughs> what about that? the Jets player, the quarterback? What's Zach his name? Wilson? Zach Wilson. Yeah. Last year there was a whole scandal because his girl, like, well, I mean, he was hooking up with his mom's best friend. Strange stuff, man. It, all that just comes to light. It's unfortunate that it's I think come that to got him at, a like, lot. The biggest moment, though. Yeah, but I th I think within like his team, definitely gave him some respect, probably for sure. Because yeah. I mean, they were probably. Damn. I don't know if how well that worked out That's for him it. though. The other but did, also, did you guys see that? Uh, um, so Aaron Rodgers got traded to the Jets, and uh, Zach Wilson was the quarterback, and then he got like bumped down. But then in a press conference, Zach Wilson was like, "Yeah, I mean, even though I'm like second string, if there's a if there's another QB that's that's brought into the team, I'm gonna make their life hell every day because I'm trying to be in that number one position. <laughs> so it's Aaron so Rodgers memes of like Aaron Rodgers now coming onto the team and Zach. Bro, I got I, we got pop up. I got to pull, pull it up. up. Yeah. So they traded Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, dude. dude he actually, didn't do very good last year. No, yeah, he bad didn't. Season. I just He's almost getting like older. Surprised. You know, surprised. Yeah. Lamar Jackson, the QB for the Baltimore Ravens. Renegotiated his contract for two hundred sixty million dollars. How many years? Five year extension. But it's he's the highest paid NFL athlete of all time. Wow, that's yeah, I was crazy. Gonna say, it had to be up there. Fifty two mil a year. Whew. Isn't that insane? It's like when you're making that kind of money, like a million dollars a week. You really got to have yeah. that competitive nature in you because like you could just play a couple seasons and call it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like, you think, could just. Well, be like, it was one hundred sixty wow. guaranteed. Yeah. So, you know, so oh shoot. Yeah. So not not as much. You know. <laughs> they said under it, like he negotiated the contract himself. Whoa! Like, can you imagine this dude in there, like I want more, and he yeah, got the yeah. most. Yeah. Like I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like how is he negotiating better than these people that do it for their if jobs? He, if he's like, looking for a serious pay cut, it'd be great to have him negotiating our deals. <laughs> We've got a great. I was going to say, I don't know, if dude, Matilda, Matilda would probably kick him in the nuts. If Matilda was an NFL athlete, she'd be the highest paid athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda's our brand deal, like uh, manager, I guess I'd say. And or she kills Negotiator, it. yeah. So there's this guy. He's kind of like the Carton Arcs guy, but he... Uh, <gasps> He sells stickers with his phone number on them that says, how's my driving? He goes on TikTok, and then he just posts the best ones. So then he'll call, or sorry, they'll call him, and he just Fs with them so hard. Like, he ruins people's days <laughs> just because they decide to call in. So yeah. someone, like, sees, like, the how, how's my driving idea. sticker yep. on the back of somebody's that car. he sold them. And yeah. then he... They it's call him. Just, it's just his because per that person's driving like, like an asshole. I think he's trying to set it up like a like a business, but it's literally just his personal number. So yeah, even if they're just driving too slow. So this one lady calls and she, wait, is it on his car or no, he just sells other them to people? Anyone? Yeah, yeah so he's wow. get him put paid it on your car. for it. Really, and then he's making content off it. What a great cycle! Yeah, it's so beautiful. And he uh, they, they'll call in and be like, "Hey, yep, there's this so and so car and." Ahead of me, and they're just they're driving slow, and they're kind of like this is just putting people in danger. They're just driving kind of like an asshole, and then they'd be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you want to get me the license plate on that?" And then he's like, "And I'll just put you on quick hold while I run that." And he plays the entire Freebird song by Leonard Skinner, <laughs> which is nine minutes and ten seconds long. <laughs> she sits there through the whole thing, gets back, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, that was a long time. Yeah, so sorry about that. You know, she doesn't think anything of it." Blah, 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 blah. It says a few more things. All right. And then I just got to put you back on hold really quick. Plays the entire Freebird song again. So she's 20 minutes invested into this phone call just to just complain about Freebird. someone who's not Freebird. even affiliated with anything. <laughs> and uh, then he, he goes to like play it one more time and she hangs up. Oh and then God. another one, he puts, he's like, all right, let me uh, just run the plates. I'm going to go ahead and connect you with uh, who's going to be helping you with that. And then she, it comes through. He goes, hello? Yeah, this is so and so, and she's like, "Yep," and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm the driver of the car." He's like, "Yep." So I just connected you with the driver of the car so that you could figure it out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and they, and then they, they do. She talks to him. She's like, "What? Why would you do that?" Um, I don't want to. He, 
you, sir, you were this and that. And then they're like, oh, he's driving too slow. I bet you're like the reckless driver. And they made her cry. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I thought it was a That's little not much. Funny then. Yeah, the two of them were like mocking her and going, oh, I bet I'm driving too fast. And she was crying, but she didn't hang up, which just is blows my mind. What the fuck's wrong with her? Yeah. And so, yeah, he just like, after I saw that, I'm like, man, they're not afraid to actually ruin someone's day oh my gosh but you what a brilliant at the end just be like hey this was a prank i hope so dude i doubt I it hope so you're so, at that you're point, so you're deep in, in it, yeah yeah and that one would have been mean to tell them that it was like, <laughs> just be like i just did this so i could make money out yeah of there's you. no way that makes people feel any better <laughs> hey <laughs> like, i'm like, sorry that uh, you got so upset don't worry this is a prank, prank. i'm gonna post it on my tiktok <laughs> and Especially, everybody else yeah, yeah you're right because like as soon as you apologize for wasting 30 minutes of someone's day <laughs> For no reason. Remind me that time Free we bought money. that lawnmower, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> and we were messing with the guy. We were all mic'd up. This was years ago. It's on YouTube. Uh, I don't know what video, but we're all mic'd up, and Mike's in the back of the truck filming because oh, we yeah. go to buy this lawnmower from a neighbor down the road. And you can't see Mike because the windows are too. <laughs> we were planning the whole time to tell him it was a prank yeah, at the end. We're just but fucking with this guy, and we end up buying the lawnmower, and he's just so confused. Then Ben just goes, Hey, by the way, it was just a prank, and, and we don't, Mike doesn't come out. Well, I go, I we go. Just, we got a cameraman over there, and I point <laughs> and it just point at the bushes, <laughs> and Mike doesn't hop out. No, he's in the well, truck. Wasn't in the bushes. I know, but the bushes were like right oh, behind the truck. He was so confused, dude. Oh he was gosh. confused about the whole thing. We bought and the. He asked. He goes, "You guys are the Sea Boys, aren't you?" About midway through the conversation, you guys just go. No, nope. no. <laughs> <laughs> Heard of them, I think, but no, not, Ooh. not, no. I would have to watch that back. Oh man, some early trolling. Yo, um, so Ken's not behind the cameras right now, but we could do something like that to Ken, like put his phone number on it, so he just starts getting random calls from like pissed <laughs> off drivers. Dude, his new one too. He's gonna be pissed. I can't <laughs> do that to him. Yeah, I, I was like, do that to he, I don't think he would answer them. We could do it to Evan. Dude, so uh, the I dude's mean, got enough problems. problems. I, we, I, we don't need to stress him out anymore. Although that'd be pretty fun because Evan probably would answer them. No, and Evan' then, phone wouldn't ring. No, every yeah, time I, I call Evan, his phone doesn't go through. I don't know what's wrong with it. Dude, I really don't think I should even like talk about this, but it's just too funny not to. Because I, I really don't want people calling my number, just like you guys don't. Um, but I found out that there's there's some uh, calls coming from Arizona. And they're like a whole bunch of them. And I had to end up blocking some numbers. I don't usually do that. And I'm like, man, there's a lot of 480 Arizona numbers coming in. They're all different too. Turns out a kid at school in Arizona be selling that. Your what? phone selling number? Yeah. number? Five bucks a pop. I got to respect them. No I way. I got to respect them. He's selling it. It reminded me of in high school, respect like selling, te selling tech decks and shit. But he's like selling. So, you know, your phone number, my phone number. But for five bucks, man, how'd you come find on, you that out? More. How'd you find that um, out? So, you can charge more. So I get a text and it's it. I Yo, get a text. You should ask for a cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need commission on that. Um, I get a text from a dad and, and he was like, hey, uh, sorry. I just realized my son was calling you a whole bunch on my phone because he I don't even know if his son had a cell phone. So I'm like, oh, OK. He goes, yeah, I got to tell you, he bought it from a kid at school for five bucks that <laughs> just to let you know. Amazing. That's hilarious. And uh, I was like, he's like, you should just block this number and then he can keep calling it. And then I'll just tell him that he must not he must not answer. I'm like, OK, that's nice yeah, of you. That's, but that was chill. Apparently his son knows, uh, you know, the Jukish brothers, the pro jet skiers mm -hmm. his son is friends with nolan the younger one and nolan sold it no i mean maybe and he leaked the number <laughs> maybe but no i don't i don't think nolan has my number well how would he get it i don't know i maybe mean he somebody it, had like, to have had it 10 things bro someone someone just called me the other day for a like a business inquiry i don't want to like out him because it was it was somewhat interesting but uh he goes uh i really just want to be honest and tell you how i got your number Okay, yeah, that's fine. I mean, people get my number. It's not too crazy. So I messaged your mom on Facebook. Oh. And uh, I... I might I, even bleep I that out because I don't want people doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what happened? So I messaged your mom on Facebook, and I told her that I was Jake and that I forgot my phone at the roadhouse and I needed, like, help. And then she gave it to me, which nothing, you know, my mom would have known. And I was like, damn. I think right. the one of the weirder things that I've heard is... Somebody found 
CJ's little brother, where he worked, and called mm-hmm. the boss of CJ's little brother asking for CJ's number. Man, I even hate to put this out there because it's going to make people create, be creative. Please don't call us. <laughs> yeah. Or please don't Honestly, I'm surprised family. that you talk to people. Like, I've only had no, like, a it's few pretty times rare. my phone got. I don't know how they got it, but yeah. I don't give them the time of day. Dude, my, my phone list is starting to look like Ken's, like all red. Oh, man. Like and, and All Arizona? I feel like you're <laughs> too nice. Dude, have, or you're too dude. nice, Michael. You'll sit there and talk with them like, Okay, I mean, well, pretty rarely. I'd say the, so long, what's up? the longest conversation I've ever had with a random call that I decided to pick up was like two minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it, it's never like super long. What are you talking to them about? Well, like, what this, do they say when they call you? I don't know what I would say if I'd I... I'd black out if so, I like called someone. <laughs> I'd feel exactly. so stupid. Okay, Ryan is accurate on that because that's what happens. I have gotten more responses like this. I go, hey, hello, or what's up? This is Micah. And it's just a, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's just like that. I, the face, the very first call I got from an Arizona number. We were in Glamis. I answer it. Kevin and Evan are behind me, and I go, "What up?" And then they go, <gasps> "Boop!" Like they <laughs> just, just hang just up, tripped, and then hung up. And then I was like, "That was their only chance." Honestly, I answered. I'm surprised that people have like the nuts for that. Cause so like, I, look at me. In my case, I'll have like some other. YouTubers that we're just maybe acquaintances with, whatever. But are you talking? I don't if, ever want to reach out to them unless if, it's something super important because I'm like I don't want to waste their time. That's because you get it. If you were just like not well, a YouTuber, if you were that's because you're a full yeah, grown yeah. adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you aren't eleven. That probably makes difference. This eleven yeah. year old is like best five bucks ever spent. That's Wait, pretty I mean, cool. I'd though, say like, at five bucks, like I would buy it just to have it. Yeah, just to say I have it. Well, I guess we did that with uh, Jesse from Nelk. We were we got his phone number. Remember back when we were trying to get a hold of him Kyle's, like six I years ago. I got ago? Kyle's number, yeah. And then and we so, bought it. No, he gave it to me. <laughs> no, no, no. When when Nelk was in Fargo, we were in college. This was what six years ago. Yeah. yeah. And we were trying to get a hold of him because we were like, "Yo, we should uh, do something." It was like back when they just hit a million subscribers. Yeah, they're at nine hundred. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we were at like what a hundred, maybe like hundred fifty. Like yeah. And um, I think we might have been like, yo, we just hit him up on Instagram and somebody goes, hey, I have Jesse's number. Do yeah, you just want it? I remember that. I used to, I hired him for like something like electrician or something like yeah. that. And this guy just sent us Jesse's number. And, no and then when we, when we met him later that night, oh, we were can. like, yeah, dude, some random guy sent us uh, your number. Is this your number? And he goes, holy shit. Yeah, that is my number. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool meeting them like way back, way back before anything. And they're telling us they had those, like, the, you know, Nelk Boys hoodies, the very first ones. And, like, yeah, we've been back and forth, like, overseas getting these made, like, six months. And I was like, fuck, that's so cool. And they're like, yeah, I think we're going to order, like, a thousand. I remember. Holy shit. I remember them telling us, uh, yeah, banks just hit us up. Because back then, that was, like, I mean, they're still popping. But they were, like, really popping FaZe and FaZe Banks. And they were at, like, the top of their game. He's like, yeah. They remember they had the clout house. He's, they're like, pretty yeah. much after that. Yeah, they, they said if we want to come stay at the clout house, and we could. They, and they left yeah. like a week later, they, or they already, you know, it was sick. And the whole and then from there, you know the story. Like, yeah, yeah it honestly, blew up. yeah. And That's the whole crazy. like pong tournament thing that was super fun. We played beer pong with them. Dude, Dude I, we played beer pong with them, and then I mean, one of you guys like I, I'll still never be like, we need credit for this. But one of you guys was no. like, "Dude, you guys should run like a tournament we, against a bunch think, of YouTubers." I don't know if we said that. I think Kyle said that they were thinking about doing it. Yeah, either but way. We were technically I just the remember, first YouTubers. Yeah, we were like, with. that's maybe what they said. And then we were all like, I wonder if they're going to put this in. They yeah, definitely didn't. Not. Ob- like, very. Literally three weeks later, they were playing with Pulse Malone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we saw that and go, damn, that makes a lot of sense. I got we were, the we were yeah, bringing so. them back to their hotel. Oh, and, God. Uh, they were sitting in the back seat of Ryan's One TC. of the coolest things that Ryan ever did in the TC. Oh, uh, I don't know. And, and Ryan goes, watch this. And he e breaks. Probably going 60. Yeah, pretty yeah. fast. And we slide like we're going backwards, like damn near a re-entry. Reversal. <laughs> and we slide around this corner, and then he like clutches it and comes back. And and uh, I, I'm sitting in the front seat like, holy shit, dude. And look in the back seat. Jesse and Kyle are both like, in a two-door, what the fuck two-door was car. That? Yeah. And Ryan's just, like <laughs> smiling. And I think they hop out and Ryan goes, dude, 
I didn't think I was bringing that one back. No, my, I almost my, crashed. My for favorite sure. part, and about, they said that they're like, yeah, so many people like try to show off and almost kill us, but like that was sick. They said something along those lines of like, yeah, you're actually a good driver, and I, in my mind, I'm like, holy shit, I almost just crashed. <laughs> that was my, that's, that's my true, favorite though. part is that you that you still kept your cool. Even though you like mm. almost didn't, and then they were like, "Oh, these guys know how to drive." It's Spilt all good. Spilt their dip all over my car because I I was the one who drove like a jackass. Yeah, Dude, I I get it though because they were like, "Yeah, so many people oh, just like try and like show off or do something like that." Because that happens all the time with us. Yeah, yeah. If, if we show up or hop in with someone, and Mike, you trust people a lot more than I do, but dude, I do not want to ride with somebody because I know that they get that Kodak courage and they feel like they have to like prove something and that's when shit goes wrong every single time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100%. I have, I just, feel, it's like a little bit of a different gut for me, but totally accurate statement and outlook on that. Yeah. yeah. You just try to size like everything up and I think that can be a bad thing too. Like when you size everything up too much, then you end up not doing anything. But I still remember uh, when we had our car show and I got a ride in, uh, buddy's 950 horsepower all-wheel drive BMW, nuts. and I I've never been in a car that fast. You know, it just it was like full race car, no one. And I at one moment when we're going 140 down the road, I'm like, shit. <laughs> I hope he's got brakes, and then he did have brakes. But let's say he didn't, and then but yeah, he doesn't you were know like the road. He wasn't one from the bump area. Away from, yeah, bad. Got to be careful. Yeah, seriously. I I mean. When I first got my car, and I still will let anyone drive it. Because Except for Ev. What? what? Ev can't drive it. No, no Ev can drive he it. He can drive it. Because he can't <laughs> see over the steering wheel. giving him a hard kidding. time. It's just funny because Ben let Slim drive it, and it's this whole thing, and it was so funny. Well, that's a great Slim example. Drive it. That's a great example. So Slim, yeah, yeah. Ev's, one of Ev's best buddies. Our best buddy. And <laughs> our best buddy. Um, He was driving, and went fast really <laughs> I, yeah I didn't really slim was ripping ripping really I'm surprised slim he's used to driving a truck the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, okay. and i think after that i was like man this probably isn't a good idea to just like let anyone drive it because it is so fast and yeah, granted, it's a lot of car it goes it's a lot of car and granted it's planted but still i mean shit can go south real quick but like every single time i'd let somebody drive it they and i'm in the car most of the time, they're ripping it. That's funny. I'm like, damn, you're just not sketchy. The, the one difference about uh, just in general, a high horsepower car is you get in, even like you have a, a V8 Camaro or a, even worse, like a Infinity, and you get in your Infinity and you floor it, it's like zero to 60 in like six seconds. But in that time, in your car, you're doing like 100. So, it, like, in the time your brain is used to flooring it, you're just going twice as fast as you're used to. Yeah. And it's not so crazy that you're going to, like, let off or, like, can't hold on. So, like, yeah, you're right. You just well, yeah, you're it. just Yeah, you're used to flooring it for 10 seconds and not be doing 140. But I got to say, slim moment, for example, like, when you do that, I'm always, like, Ben is cool as shit for that. That is cool. Well, I don't care. You're like well, a young Steve I'm Hamilton. just saying, like, I, I, just, <laughs> yeah. I think it's valid for you to get worried. But yeah, when I saw that, I was like, look, he's just letting slim. And then I'm like, he's letting him rip it. And that's what everyone wants to see you do. I don't think you should do it to please anyone else. But well, I'm not worried about the car at all. I'm worried about myself and them driving oh, yeah. when we're going that fast. Yeah. I'm like, damn, should we be doing this right now? Mad respect to, uh, to Steve for just letting, like, anyone hop in a $3 million hypercar and mob it like it's a around Chicago to Camry. He, he's kind of insane for that. Like actually he's a certain level of insane for letting people drive $3 million cars and just say, just drive it like however you want. I think he's just so rich. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Which is like, it still does. There's consequences because something happened. Then it's like your insurance, which he, his True, insurance he got dropped, dropped which did happen, which is a pain in the ass, you know? Yeah. Speaking of so rich, it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys remember Joe Exotic? Yeah. Yeah. He's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, he's rich. Yeah. I saw a thing uh, on his Instagram the other day that says, here's your chance. Get Joe Exotic for 15 minutes live on your podcast for a donation of 
four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars wow. for fifteen <laughs> minutes? Yeah, that's all it takes. In my opinion, that's worth it. I'm not saying that we're gonna do that. Uh, it's just I just thought it was so funny. He's like doing his own contact Joe Exotic TV at gmail.com. He's like screw cameo. Like fifteen you minutes on your so podcast. You no, I I totally agree. But it's just like so funny. I just imagine us like FaceTiming him Joe in. Joe Exotic in prison. He, or is he still no, in prison? He's not. Jail? I don't think. Yeah, I think he's in jail. He's, he's in jail. Oh, shit. Maybe sort of that's why he's got to charge a little. But I'm just saying, like, four hundred. Well, that's why bucks. he can only do fifteen minutes. I think. think four hundred <laughs> bucks for fifteen, 15 minutes, minutes is pretty phone good. Call. That's what I'm. That's what I'm yeah, saying. And I'm not saying rate. like he must. Should be we do rude. it? I, that's what like if we can do it, I'm, I'm. I'd love to. How much trouble do you think we'd get in if we also paid Carol Baskin to be on at the same time? All right. Well, if some tells me. Put her on that TV and him on that TV. Can we do it right now? I doubt it. I suppose but you need to. Set I'll up email. The time. I'll email. Let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I just. Yeah. I mean, it just yeah, seemed I've, like such a like a low number to like get even just that fifteen minutes. Can we double it and get a half hour? Not that I really want to talk to him for that long, but you know, <laughs> I uh, I've never watched that show. You should, Wait, dude. At least no, the first you season. No, Why? the first. Season? You're not missing anything. There's that more than one a, season. Such, yeah, no, there's only yeah, one. Season. There's like no. They did like a wrap up episode and it was like not good. But yeah. anyway, the first season. I, at this point, yeah, I just don't watch it. I think it there ain't a chance right in hell CJ could make it through that show. No. Really? No. Why? No, it's you, not. You're, you just not, you're too boring, boring or what? You it doesn't get, provide it, enough value. It, you yeah, know, like yeah. it just is dumb Bro, TV. It, I, most people couldn't watch it now. The only time that it did, only reason it did so well is because it Trending. came out March of 2020, like during the, the peak yeah. of everyone being at home. That makes be sense. careful now. Joe's going to be on the podcast. He's going to be listening to this, you know, because he'll do his I research. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't kidding. think there's any. I'm I don't kidding. think anyone would disagree with why it did so well. One hundred percent. But I did see that Carol Baskin, and the reason that Joe Exotic basically hates Carol Baskin or any. I mean, there's plenty of reasons. I think, but uh, uh, the main thing that he stands on is Carol Baskin killed her husband, right? Mm-hmm. Fed right. him to the tigers. Right. I think they found. I think like. Carol Baskin's husband like came out and was like, "No, I'm alive and well. I live in Puerto Rico or something like that." Oh, really? Uh, I think. I think. Don't quote me on shit, that. He's down there with Tupac. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> that's funny. Like sometimes so, so I now love, I'm like, "Well, what ground does he stand on with like with why that? she's such a criminal?" Sometimes Whatever. I just love like not looking stuff up and just being like, "Huh, maybe he is in Puerto Rico. Who knows? That, that'd <laughs> be crazy, bro." It. But I just won't look it up. I know, like half the shit I say yeah, now. Yeah. Now I'm on a podcast. I'm like. Fuck it, maybe I shouldn't say that. No, I, I think there's like a fun factor to that. Obviously, most of the stuff that we say that we're Spreading like, we need misinformation. Fa- yeah, no, but, I appreciate that, Mike. But, <laughs> but me it, being wrong is just a fun it, fact. It, <laughs> you're right, Ryan. It still is misinformation. But like, if you just truly claim to just be like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not sure on that at all. I'm not even sure where I heard it. Dude, that's it's why just, like every time Ken says anything, I, I just trust him. And I, yeah. I don't do my due diligence yeah. to look it up. I'm just like... That is Ken's really a pretty funny. reliable source. I'm like, dude, Ken knows everything. But bless Ken's art, but he'll just give you just like a, yeah, I heard that uh, this local business is getting bought out by the Russians. And I'll go, really? Where'd you hear that? And he goes, oh, I just heard it from somebody in town. Never knows, has always heard it from someone else and never knows who, when, or why. And has nothing to back it up, but he'll have just that nugget. Ken doesn't want to throw anyone under the bus. Yeah. It's true. He's a well, good I don't know about Ken not being a narc, but <laughs> I think it's just he's strictly because he doesn't remember. Maybe, but he's a good kid. Or he doesn't know who they are. He's got mad facts up in that brain. So much. does. Knowledge. So many facts. It's actually insane. And that's probably something that a lot of people, I wish he was here, but they Same. don't, uh, they don't get to see that side of Ken that when you're in like a long car ride with him and you just get going on stuff, he can just feed you random facts for like hours. Dude, he's a good conversationalist. He knows something. He knows a little bit about everything Everything. (laughs) and nothing about everyone. (laughs) Yeah, literally not a single thing about anyone. That's why like as, as someone who was like, I was kind of into psychology. Like I took it in high school, took it in college. Really? Like, you know, I didn't do anything with it, but I was into I, it. I found it fascinating. I, I, I love, yeah. I loved asking the questions. I didn't like love actually getting to the bottom of why, but you know, it's too much work. Ken is that I love being like, damn, like his brain power is truly used for something great, but different than yeah. the average person. Like his brain power is strong in the facts and the knowledge and like, 
making his life in as a very easy as possible way. in for, very formal mm-hmm. but making his life as yeah, easy yeah. as possible like yeah i'd say like that, his his yeah. brain power is going to that and then cuz the laziest dude but, i know but he it's doesn't not want to spend any more energy than he has to i don't want to i don't want to talk bad on him but yeah but it's not i'd say that if you were sitting there it's not I'd used, that all the time but his brain power is not used to remember who the fuck somebody is <laughs> doesn't kid, give though. a fuck about you no yeah he just gives a f- about like uh, the new Boeing airplane coming out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great example. Yeah, they were having trouble finding enough uh, aluminum and steel to build it, so a lot of people got fired actually. And then you go, oh like wow, why talking. why is there no aluminum? And then it's like, oh well, because of the conflict between yeah yeah Egypt. He was and like, so most Saudi of it Arabia. was coming from Saudi, and now not oh. neither coming from so yeah. and due to the. The the Nile uh, flowing north, <laughs> they can't. The boats <laughs> take so much power to go that way. Yeah, but anyway, we got Brian coming over in fifteen minutes. Who's Brian again? <laughs> oh, the, oh, the guy that uh, has been working for us for the last two years. Not sure if I've met him. <laughs> it's well, actually, he's working full time for us now. Do we? Have yeah, we, have we haven't talked about, about that. Yeah, Let's so we finally it. got a full time mechanic, which is fantastic, and it's actually the guy who. Basically built tiny, fixed the mud staying. Um, so he, we think he <laughs> fixed the R6. Yeah. The R6 it, quad that we had built in December. So we might be actually able to finally finish that video, rip that thing, and it might go live on Thursday. Ooh. Soon, soon. When I tightened some of those bolts in December, I did not think that they would affect me in like, may <laughs> yeah you yeah. know like i don't really remember did we tighten everything is everything oh good well, no. to, well I hopefully I Brian, say maybe that. evan took to off Brian. down the road at like 150 today and i went hmm hopefully everything's good yeah no that. on a like a realistic hopefully note that i remember 45 dollar ebay front end holds together i yeah. remember when evan tested over he's like yeah you know it gets like once you get into the higher gears it doesn't seem to love it but you know hit 95 uh, <laughs> like how second, fast are you trying to second go? Yeah. i'm like Dear God. <laughs> what do you mean? Right, four wheeler. 95, dude, in second. Keep in mind, I've crashed that four wheeler a lot. Yeah, right? it ain't straight. That's for no. sure. <laughs> yeah. Four wheelers never are. Yeah, so the, the exhaust on it, like, it, dude, it looks like a work of art. Yeah, it looks really good. Enough. So I got to say, all the people, there, we've, we've had a ton of inquiries reaching out to us about, like, fabrication. We read them all. They, mm-hmm. They're all, most of them were really, really, really good, but... We just ended up going with Brian because Brian uh, happened to be done being a snowcross mechanic this year. And, and he's great. And he's great. And he's been working on our stuff. So we we asked him. So yeah, And he also lives nice, on the dude. street. He's, he's, yeah, been, yeah. he's been pretty on top of it. Coming yeah. in here, he's swap dropping off this, swapping out this. He's like, I think he's enjoying it too. Yeah. And I'm cool. sure it's, it's kind of fun not just and working on snowmobiles. It's super funny too because he uh, actually bought like an old, the, the barn shed garage that, Ben's dad own, which is in your CJ and Ben's neighborhood. So now when he test drives the stuff, aka like test driving the R6, just right next yeah. quad, everyone in the neighborhood's like, they probably I thought we got rid of these guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be so good though. We we actually have a board behind the cameras right here of just like fifty different build ideas that are now possible because we have the right guy to do it. Yeah. And uh and someone who's gonna be dedicating their all their time to building them. Yeah. But it's gonna know? make great videos. It's gonna make great videos, yeah. and it's gonna add another layer and and uh, entertainment to the videos. Mm-hmm. So, what'd you end up hearing on that the shop quote for building a new shop out on the land? I haven't got a quote. We gotta oh. decide how big to go. I'd say just as big as this, if I not bigger. I think what Mark said, yeah, that, that what forty by sixty. No, this is this is like uh, oh, this is six, this is sixty by one fifty. I think. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but, um, Just, yeah. Run it forty by sixty, the same size as this, if not bigger, and then still have like the portions. Because then, if you ever want to sell it, most people aren't going to want buy a building this big in this area. You just put walls up with dividers, and now it's parceled it's off. Good to go. And it out. yeah, I'm excited. If we yeah, do too, if we do uh, end up building another shop, um, just I guess getting to do it all again, designing it. And figuring out the spaces and what we're going to put in there. We want to do some car lifts and and uh, build probably like another like shop area, kind of like we have in this one, uh, just with a little bit more space. And I think it's going to be really sweet. 
it obviously is the biggest expense we'll have in the next like two years. I gotta say. I mean, building a new shop like this. Oh yeah, for sure. But, but luckily, uh, yeah, I think we we procrastinated long enough yeah. that prices are starting mm-hmm. to go down. Yeah, yeah. Are. I mean, when so we were redoing this, it was at like the peak the prices peak. of wood and everything. People mm-hmm. were like, "Why are you doing that now?" Like my my girlfriend's dad be like, "What are you guys stupid doing yes. it right now?" I'd be like. Well, yes. First off, we are stupid, but <laughs> second off, we do need it done we right need now. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I bet you prices corrected fifteen percent. Oh, so not really. Everything no, just came. Oh, that's still a lot. But at the end but of the yeah, day, what they come up like twenty five? Or did yeah, they, like, they probably double? came up thirty. Yeah. And a new. We're just trying to figure out. Like we have all of our offices here. Obviously, the podcast studio, the hangout area. So you'd think, on paper, this would just be the hangout. The hangout slash like studio slash film like slash whatever. Need to, we don't need to put it in right away, but I feel like we're going to want to build it out and make it into like more offices or more, you know, we could even do it bigger and better as far as like the offices go. So we have a upstairs that you can fully stand oh, yeah. up in if you can. And yeah, I guess one thing that like what if we were to do that, I just would always worry that like. We just need to make sure that we utilize the spaces yeah, here. Yeah, I don't want to Like, if, if anything it, was built right. there and then got abandoned here, it, it would just feel weird. It'd feel wrong. But, yeah, I mean, this could always be turned into something else. Or, you know, like, the offices could always just be more, you know. I, I more agree. if we got workers, yeah. Yeah, totally. Like editors, yeah. another designer. Totally. This Sweet. is so well set up over here, though. I'd it hate is. to, like, mess with it or, like, change it anything. so sick. Yeah. yeah. If we did ever sell it, though, I don't know who would ever move in or, or leave everything the same. Like... My dad and I were talking you could about ever that. Ever utilize this area? He You'd was have like, to "Take it all out." Yeah, he was talking about that. Really? He was like, "Yeah, I remember. You know, when I sold you guys a shop and all that, I was, you know, like, oh, it'll be cool to keep it, you know, around." He goes, "It was going to be hard to sell because it, it was a big space. You know, it takes a unique person to buy it." And he goes, "I never would have imagined you guys would have done half of the stuff you've done with it now. You know, I mean, like putting the big shipping containers yeah, in yeah. and this whole outfit." Dude, when, I, when we did move in here, though. And it was basically just an empty shell, walking, giving people tours, and yeah, we're gonna put two shipping containers right here, and then we're gonna build offices on top, and we're gonna have a middle area where we might do a podcast no studio or Everybody something in the middle, like and then idiots. offices no over there because it. it was nothing here, and they were like, "What? Where? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they yeah. were like, what? Why? Why, why are you gonna do all that? Don't build any walls. Don't do anything like that.'" And we're like, "No, no, no. Trust us. It's gonna be so." Or cool. even if they were saying that, yeah, most I would say like ninety percent of people were like, "Get the." Shipping containers in the building. Okay. Yeah. No, no one got it. It really made no sense. Uh, and even Randy, who who built all of it for us, was like, I we trusted tell him, it, yeah. okay, Randy, how possible is this? And he'd be like, very, but it makes no sense. Let's just stick <laughs> with the first part it. of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Stick with the possible I, would, I will say, though, may, correct me if I'm wrong. A lot of YouTubers have shops, cool shops, but I think ours might look the coolest. I would agree. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, at our at our actually, size yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think we but have who, a great. Who has a cooler one? I can't think of Fuck. anyone. I mean, like Ken Block. When I, I don't look, know if he's a I YouTuber of, though. No, he's not. That's what I mean. He's like a business mogul. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't. And maybe I'm not trying to. There's you know, people whatever. that I'm have just, more like. You know, they bigger, got more cars. More yeah, this, oh, more for that, sure, yeah. for sure. I'm stuff like that. Bigger skate set up. But I think you know we got it. It's unique. I think the uniqueness of ours, like there's not no one that has like the. You know the office space, stuff like that. I think we've used this space really well. But yeah. we're, I've, I've said it before: we're like goldfish. Put us in a bigger bowl. We're gonna keep growing. Yeah. So I'm excited to build a bigger bowl. Goldfish Same. actually do that. Yeah, you put them in lakes; they take over the lake. Are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck? Giant goldfish for real. You want me to look it up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Goldfish don't live that long. No. So what I mean, happens when you uh, send a goldfish down the toilet? Well, they're dead. Yeah. Well, what dying. if what Whoa. happens if you don't? They live 10 to 15 years. Not bad. They're social and intelligent what? animals. 10 to 15 years? I mean, I, I get Some that. Some varieties totally live up to 30 with proper That's care. That's crazy. Holy shit. A fish? Because you know that gold, goldfish, when Walmart used to Usually sell them, like are 14 swims. cents. And I went, why are goldfish so cheap? And everyone's like, well, there's a whole bunch of them. But no, but why are they only 14 cents when the other fish are like five bucks? They're like, well, because they're made to like feed to, you feed them to... So what happened, piranhas? Yeah, yeah. Goldfish yeah. Oh, really? dumped in lakes are growing to the size of footballs. No what? way! I'd love to catch one. That'd be sick. Why do you never see people catching goldfish? There's no goldfish way they do kept in little. warmer water temperatures consume more oxygen, eat more food, and are generally more active. All than than goldfish and bowls. Oh, dang. 
but big let me, fuckers. Let me see. Sixty-seven oh. pounds. Oh, okay. No, that that's that cool. is not just a normal goldfish. I would love to Ryan. catch that. That is not a goldfish that you get at Walmart. No okay. chance. That look, it, but the weird thing is, it looks just like a goldfish. The sky's the limit for those guys, man. They what? can just yeah, keep growing. Just getting bigger and bigger. No <laughs> way. Oh, look at this guy. Kind of cute. Huh. Wow. Those are huge. It's a big goldfish considering they're normally huge. just little dudes. Yeah, the biggest one. I've, I'm not joking. The biggest goldfish I've ever seen that I was aware that it was goldfish. It's got to be like the, as long as your finger, you know. What do you guys think of getting like a nice um, fish tank? Dude, no. I'm what down. do they call those? I'm what down. They, what, what, Evan like, wants a chicken coop. I think we should get a, a staple and some horses. A staple? Staple? <laughs> yeah, let's get a staple and some a horses. Stable. Stable, sorry. That was easy. Put it out the back, dude. Stable and some horses. Ev can start feeding them. How, wait, hold on now. Okay. How big of horses? Full size or mini horses? Full size, No. Yeah. Trying to Couple ride these big? things this in a road dude, house. I uh, take one picture of him of wearing them. a cowboy hat, and he thinks that we the should get some horses. cowboy needs horse. No, what? honestly, that's a horrible idea. <laughs> I the fish the okay so I've I've thought about doing like a big aquarium or whatever. Thank you. That was that was how big. Yeah, like you need to do like big one where you got like a bunch of stuff in there. It's so much work to take care of fish, dude. You're constantly gonna have to check like the water and then like you gotta feed them. Obviously, it's in yeah. If we got clean the water, more content out of the horses, then you know no argument whatsoever. But this is coming from the guy who said he wanted a couple horses. It's got to be more work than a fish aquarium. Yeah, but it's a fish aquarium be. ain't making any content. That's a, and that's you can't ride saying. a fish. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, if, if we put those goldfish in, I think you could probably ride one <laughs> yeah, of those. Things. We could tame it. <laughs> it's real big. Dude, we're like, I think if we got why a, is our goldfish not getting big? I think if we got an aquarium that was really nice, Ken would have that thing dialed. Yeah, but we used to. It's like the hot tub. Ken used to. He doesn't have the hot tub dialed. Because it, nah. it got undialed and it just got too far Dude, gone. Yeah. He doesn't have the hot tub dialed here and he doesn't have the hot tub dialed at the house. I had to take over the hot tub duty. I had him just teach me how to do it. Mm. And now mm. I'm the Maybe hot tub guy. Maybe he's got too much on his plate. He Possibly. Did, he did give it up. Yeah. Possibly. But also, I think once Evan started putting his stinky hinder in the water, it was just at the shop here, the hot tub. He, he knew it was too far gone. I mean, he'd be changing the water, draining it probably every... Yeah. For the record, if you ask Ken right now what the status is, he'd go, yeah, once it warms up a little bit more, we're draining this. Or so. normally he just goes, I would, um, yeah. I wouldn't I would. go in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, it, even yeah, if yeah, it was right. brand new, yeah, clean, how's he'd the hot say tub? that. Uh, didn't put chemicals in it yet. Wouldn't go in. I think we could maybe get a chicken coop. I like that. <sighs> that just, I think they're yeah. so messy, dude. But if they just stay in the coop, I mean, so I'm, I'm actually not. And like, then advocating coyotes for this are going to get in there. But like nice. having eggs would be so fun. Dude, me and CJ had ducks when we were kids. Really? Yeah. Quack, quack. Yeah, we got little ducks at like the local L and M fleet, and then which is where we can get our chickens. Who from. bought you the ducks? I, like, I don't know. I, I bought. Like you I just did. bought them. They were. Yeah. They don't cost that much. Yeah. And yeah, then they, had like they would like. They would like you have them. At they'd that's... follow you around. They'd like oh, follow you around because they thought. Yeah. So you'd walk and yeah. they'd all walk in a line behind you. That's kind of And fun. one time we led them to the pond, and then uh, they were like in the pond, and then this storm came, and we were trying to get them out of the pond because they were having too much fun in the pond. They like <laughs> well, we were only able to get a couple of them, yeah. and then we were on this paddle boat trying to grab them. <laughs> there was a few that that uh, once the storm hit, they were still in the pond and. They must have went to another pond. <laughs> yeah, that's what, they that's what we heard. The big like, pond in the sky. Yeah, yeah the other the ones that we were able to get. Be, yeah, be on Earth, put them in. Um, you know, anyways. So then, so then there was I think three left that's after the big storm, saying. and then uh, it was just like a like a summer thing, and then summer came to an end. And we're like, damn, what do we do with these ducks now? Nah, They're I'm, obsessed I'm, with us. They just we would bring them to a pond, and they would know where we'd bring them, so they would just waddle back. Every single time. Oh. We were like trying to let them out in the wild. Like, you guys are ducks. Like, you need to go and hang out with other ducks. Yeah, right? go duck around. Yeah. <laughs> and they would just always come back. So we had to bring them like far away uh -huh. and drop them off. So they couldn't find They them. could still yeah. be there. I don't know if you want to put that part of the story in. <laughs> Why? I don't know. People might get mad about it. I mean, they're ducks. Yeah, it was like, it's not illegal or frowned upon to let ducks go into the wild. Just dumping animals. Just let them duck around, you know? Yeah, Ben had a dog. And then when it wasn't a puppy anymore, he brought it out to the wild. Let, it, let, it, let it be a dog in the wild. 
I guess, yeah. Is like it golden the same? Lager. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely is not the same, same, but when you, you put it like that, French it's like, Bulldog and you did that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if French Bulldogs are really wild animals. Bro, French Bulldogs are the least You know, wild French animals. Bulldogs are the most bought animal in, or the most bought dog uh, in the United States. I'm, I'm actually surprised, surprised by that because they're very expensive. But they're kind of basic they're now. exotic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Dude, Golden Retrievers are, I, I think they're probably the best dog, but that's probably the most basic dog. Very but they're also debatably the best dog as far as health they're and good dogs. Like happiness and listening. And I'd like to get a like a bulldog, not a French bulldog, but like like a big meaty fat Stocky one. Stocky one. But uh, taking care of it, man, just be too much. It's hard to take care of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Because like right now, who's going to be taking care of it? So when it's here and it's like, well, is it fucking licking some oil off the ground? I'm like, well, now I'm worried about it. And now it's just in, it's a problem. Yeah, I feel like to get a to get it like well, what we always desire as like a shop dog. Oh, how, clean up that oil spill. No, you know it's licking yeah. it. And it's gonna get sick, and then no, I know you know not tell the dog to clean up that oil spill. Oh, I thought that's what you were getting at. No. No, like, you don't so, tell him. Well, if Ryan Thomas parked in the parking lot, what are we gonna do? It's like the fucking Pearl Harbor, <laughs> just constantly leaking. <laughs> I don't know. Pearl Harbor. That was, it was right. that was so funny that you said that. We could use the BP oil spill. That's yeah, what. I, yeah, is that yeah. what you were? Is yeah, that he, what you were thinking? Pearl Harbor was the I, worst oil spill in the I think history it, I of think, the nation. I think it did have pretty negative consequences on the environment in Hawaii. The local uh, reef yeah, it still does to this day. That's yeah, still, still leaking. Ship leaking oil. It's still leaking. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's true. The EPA comes after Ryan for his Homer. They could. I do get a good kick out of uh, pulling up to O'Reilly's, and the the parking lot's always like a rainbow. When yeah, it's that is. So funny. <laughs> but I was one of the guys that dropped yeah. oil there. Yeah. So Ryan. Yeah, buddy. What is the status? Oh, first of all, congratulations! Man. Quick round of applause for Ryan selling his Camaro. Yep. Who would have thought? Actually, Let's who would have thought? The way you talked about it, I couldn't believe it. And you want to know what the worst thing is? Or the best thing is is he is a listener and a viewer of the videos. So he's happy about he it. He knows everything that happened to it. But the worst thing is, is I had set to uh, sell it on Thursday. And then Tuesday, we dropped the podcast where I talk shit about it for 15 minutes. <laughs> well, he still bought it. Still bought yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Still you bought know, it. I, so I question Ryan, what is wrong with that guy. You're, but- you... How do I say this nicely? <laughs> Are you know you're you're part of this crowd of of buyers? Uh huh. Um, I don't know how we would say it. Like we're just gonna say suckers, okay? <laughs> suckers. So like you know you sometimes you end up buying a jet ski. It's a piece of shit. Uh huh. And uh, you know you don't like it. And then we talk so negatively about it mm-hmm. to millions of people, and yet one of those people always seem to come through and want to buy it, and they leave happy as a clam. So uh, it's amazing how you manage to find <clears throat> someone every time after talking so much shit on these vehicles, and they always love it. It's truly extraordinary. I, th- I think you have a it's point. It's reverse psychology. Yeah, I think you, you would have think a point that it would be like someone a, who doesn't know you with the way you talk about these where things. Where there's like a group of suckers for sure, and maybe yeah. <laughs> the, the buyers are exactly in that group. Ryan's also, on like level one well, of what the do suckers. You expect? They're on level two. After a, a, enough time... It's got to get sold, and and because keep in mind, neither the jet ski or the Camaro were on Facebook for two weeks and got sold. Years, you know, like the let's saying, just say three months. You know, you know the saying, "Game respects game." I do. That's like Ryan suckers respects suckers. <laughs> got to help each other out. Hey, I got to get this guy out of this deal. He's all jammed up. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this whole thing, though, Ryan, is that you just did a full circle and you just ended up with another stock black TRX, and you had a sweet modded out one that you sold. Kind yes. Of. So I, I feel how, like yeah, how weird, deal it's work It's weird out, calling like, like the uh, TRX. Uh, it's weird that you ended up with a stock one because well, the stock TRX is like so sick. No, I'm no, saying stock. he was he was here and then he went. He he traded it out and now he's back, back to down. level one. But and what, he's, he had, bought all the same what, shit. He's it, gonna put well, it on this one. Well, <laughs> well, did a full but what, it had a bumper and wheels. Yeah, yeah, exhaust and exhaust. Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not really that crazy. Let me paint this picture. Let me paint this picture for the listener. Ryan gets this truck. Builds it up, trades the truck in, loses a shitload of money on this Camaro mm-hmm. with the trade in just on the Camaro. Yep. Yep. Drives the Camaro. Hates it. Then he trades the Camaro in on the exact same TRX truck, just stock, 
and loses a shit ton of money on the Camaro <laughs> just to get the same truck that he had just stock. And then buy all the parts over again. And now you're spending the money to buy them again. Yes. I'm not trying I'm not saying it was a bad decision or you made any wrong choices. I'll the say the TRX it. is the best. I'll I'll say I understand I why made, you would do it. I made bad decisions well, you and made <laughs> wrong choices. You just immediately had buyer's remorse. Uh-huh. And then you just wanted to hit that reverse button. Yep. Go yeah. back in time. And unfortunately, it just cost you. The lot. What do you think uh, you're out? Actual pretty wild stat is I bought this TRX cheaper than I bought my last TRX. Wow. Well, I don't think well, it is. It, yeah, you know. How would, much did you but, lose on you when you initially traded that TRX in on the Camaro? Ooh, at least 20 grand. <sighs> Holy crap. And then how much did you lose on your Camaro? Four. I guess it's not bad. Oh, it's not That's bad. That's I, I got yeah. better. So now you're at 24, yep. and then you bought a new one. Mm-hmm. And then how much did the parts cost? Uh, probably five. So now All you're sitting 29 grand in. That's when and I you're asked back myself, to where you were. Yes, precisely. It's been a rough year, but now I know what I want. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hey, shit, man. I, honestly, I can't say much either. I've lost some money on some stupid purchases too. Yeah. So I made money, or I, well, I only lost a little bit of money on my Jeep. I drove oh, it for like a year. You know and a what half. you gotta also consider though, in that I hate to bring it up, in Fuck. the the twenty nine racks that you've lost uh, throughout this TRX trading extravaganza, is you also bought that Hummer. <laughs> so <laughs> now you got ten grand on top uh, of that. <laughs> the Hummer still runs. I still got her. Well, it's sitting in the in the back in the graveyard right now because so it's original oil all over the driveway. Oh, I, I appreciate that. No problem. Now I'm CJ's just the grass. Fu- CJ's future dog does too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh okay this is originally actually where my question was going is what are you doing now with it because it is just sitting back there well it's got like six grand worth of wheels on it so i could just sell that and almost break even sell the wheels no no there's no way that you you're not get no one's gonna buy those, those hostile wheels, wheels, wheels for six grand no way. this is how your brain works no i don't know <laughs> you gotta find another guy yeah i'm just gonna you might be able to find one <laughs> I just somebody thought, listening wait, right now goes, this like that's a good deal. Well, no, I was just <laughs> they've like, already yeah. got a DM. No, that's what I'm getting for some at. wheels with some half he's, tread tires. He's on He's not them. gonna sell the Hummer for six grand more, and he's definitely not gonna sell the wheels for six grand. But like, it's gotta be worth something just because of those wheels. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. That Hummer's 5K. got clout, dude. People want that's it. true. Yeah. It's got clout. It's also got a hella tick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My goal, I'm just going to start sabotaging videos so we have to fill a bit <laughs> with my Hummer that ends in its destruction. I know you would love nothing more than that, but to you also have out. to realize that you bought that Hummer when the car market was really hot. Yeah. And that's just not where it's at you anymore. You also oh. paid for it pretty hard. Yeah. Pretty oh. heavy. So I'm going to pay market value for it, Ryan. Mm. Right around 3K. Yeah, three K, three grand, grand. Just, with the wheels. Hey, and tires. just because you put the wheels and tires <laughs> on it, oh. as a buyer, that doesn't increase the value. Come on, I, I think, think the gas that, guzzler too. Like you know, the, I just saw it. The worst part is, is that like I personally don't think that we should give you ten thousand dollars for it, <laughs> <laughs> but I think three grand is an insult, which is what you were getting. It's at a, with yeah, that. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. I think you're it's the one who buried in a snowbank. It took five thousand dollars off its value. I don't know how that happened. How the snowbank? You keep going back to snowbank, but what did it really do as far as damage? Broke my door handle. No, <laughs> it was already broken. No, it did not. <laughs> you have a door handle in the back seat before we even filmed that video. Yeah. Explain that. If we could come up with something really good to do with that Hummer, it'd be worth it. But we haven't yet. Be worth it. So that's why it's yet. sitting in the back and it's waiting has, for its demise. I will yeah. give you credit though, Ryan. It has been a content making machine since the moment you dro- you brought that thing home and Vass got in and put it in the ditch to it just bringing a lot of joy around the shop when you come ticking in here. Or, <laughs> ticking you know, in. You get break oh, down on the you. side of the road and yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, that shit's funny just, term. It was always kind of fun. Yo, Ryan, we're at the end. The rainbow right now. You want to come eat? The yeah. rainbow rail was sick. Yeah, I might tick over. <laughs> I, I might tick on over. over. Yeah, I'll tick on over. It, when you started the other day, though, that motherfucker sounded like it was going to blow. Yeah, she's You're not happy. Five dude. feet. You got to put some more oil in it. It's still leaking, so there's CJ oil in it. giving advice to Ryan on how to <laughs> <laughs> make his summer stop ticking. Put a no, little more oil in it. That might help. I did, and it, it doesn't help. Oh. It, but honestly, the good news of, of getting out of that old TRX is I did, for video, beat the shit out of that truck. The paint was, like, gone on the back fenders, and it was, it was pretty beat up. 
It had been through a lot. Well, I tell you what, Ryan. Nope. This one's staying nice. Yeah. I can almost guarantee you it will not stay as nice as you would like it to be. Because I know that you bought that thing and you didn't even mention, hey, we should film this. You you haven't even made like any any kind of excitement around it because you don't want us to get the idea. To, oh, we could make a video with this thing. You don't even want us thinking in that way. So well, I've been, you stole all my thunder. Well, Ryan, I've been thinking on my own. Oh, great. And I got some great ideas for it. Well, I, I think we should do, I think to finish off the Hummer, mm-hmm. you should do like a little collab between the two before okay. it gets too late for it. You okay. could jump your TRX with the Hummer. Like jump over it in the Hummer. Mm-hmm. Like just same jump as probably uh, the one Ben took his Raptor off. We'll put your TRX at the top of the table. Well, the top. TRX does have to clear that jump. You'll clear. Why? Why does it have to? Yeah, it was, I mean, if Ryan, <laughs> if Ryan had a big one-up Ben Vendetta or a big I want to be the biggest jumper on the channel, then it would definitely have to out jump. This is Raptor. a dangerous scenario because I might get a hanker into one-up you. That's what I we hope. That's what we hope, right? Yeah, absolutely. He could for so sure easy. clear that he table for, could top. For sure He's got way more power. Yeah. I mean, you could have cleared it too. You just got to hit it faster, right? Ryan just got to give it a little pepper at the top. You know, <laughs> not a good jumper though. I think you just got to hit it fast enough. I don't think there's much to it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. though, I look forward to seeing what we do with the Hummer and the TRX. Fuck. Yeah, drop some ideas as far as like what we could do with the Hummer down below. I'd love to bring it to the Grand Canyon. Just roll it off. <laughs> <laughs> Like that would be a good way for it to go. I feel like like that would be funny. That would be funny. I think that would be like thirty years in jail, but yeah, worth it. The worst oil spill in U.S. history. There's no, oh, there's oil, no oil, in oil in it. There's yeah. no oil in it. That's the beauty. Thirty years. Pin fifteen on Ev. Pin fifteen on Ken. Call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> they can share it. <laughs> hey, all right well well let's let's wrap it up that was a, that was a good time uh thank you guys so much on the merch like the two milli sweatshirt you blew to it's the still moon. it's still up for sale though yeah, all yeah, of you guys yeah, yeah. can get just go to the website cboystv.com we're giving away a pit bike and also you can get entered for a chance to come and hang out with us for the weekend bring a friend we'll fly you out we'll do a bunch of fun shit um yeah, so cboystv.com. So check out the Grandpa Ron hoodies and yep. uh, T-shirts as well. Tons of good stuff, and there's still plenty of stuff left, so head on over there and uh, check it out. But thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you. Peace.